Hi guys! Welcome sa Engine Nerd Math Channel. Sa video na to ay ituturo ko sa inyo ang step response of RC circuits. So kung gusto niyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, so far ay meron na akong two videos about RC and RL circuits. Wherein yung kinonsider ko doon ay yung source-free RC and RL circuits kung saan wala tayong nakasupply na any voltage or current source doon sa circuit. But instead, yung stored energy lang doon sa kapasitor or inductor yung, nag, yung nagpo-provide ng energy doon sa circuit. So this time, i-consider naman natin sa video na to ay yung RC circuits kung saan meron nang nagsusupply ng energy sa circuit which is a DC source. Okay, so sabi, when the DC source of an RC circuit is suddenly applied, the voltage or current source can be modeled as a step function and the response is known as the step response. Okay, so kapag daw meron tayong in-apply suddenly na voltage or current source that such as a DC source, then yung source daw na yon ay pwedeng ma-model as a step function. So, kaya tinatawag natin yung response as the step response. So, ano ba yung step function? So, halimbawa dito sa circuit na to, meron tayong 1 volt battery na naka-connect yung uh, resistor natin. So, at T is less than 0, naka-open pa yung switch. So, therefore, yung voltage across this resistor, let's say pinangalanan natin B or right. So, therefore, yung graph niyan, voltage versus time, Yung VO natin at T is less than 0. 0 pa kasi wala pa siyang voltage. But then, when we suddenly close the switch at T is equal to 0, therefore, magkakaroon na ng voltage drop itong resistor. Kasi ma-close na yung switch, magkakaroon na tayo ng closed loop. Magiging equal yung voltage nitong resistor dito sa DC supply natin na 1 volt. So, suddenly, aangat yung voltage natin dito sa 1 unit na 1 volt. So, yun yung tinatawag natin na sudden applied voltage or current doon sa circuit, which is yung step response. Now, meron tayong definition for the actual step function. So, we have the unit step function, U of T, that is 0 for negative values of T and 1 for positive values of T. So, it is a piecewise function kung saan yung unit function daw natin ay equal sa 0 kapag yung t is less than 0, tapos equal siya sa 1 kapag yung t ay greater than 0. So, kapag ginrap natin yung unit step function, we have the y-axis as the u of t and the horizontal axis or the x-axis as the time, t. So, dahil when t daw is less than 0, yung unit step function natin ay 0. Therefore, ito yung plot niya. Okay? Ito kasi yung mga t natin na less than 0 or negative. So, value niya ay 0. And, and then daw, kapag na greater than 0 na, so ito na yung mga t natin, positive values, suddenly, magiging value nung u of t natin is 1 unit. So, kaya ito. Okay? So, ito yung ginagamit nating function kapag meron tayong sudden applied voltage or current sa isang circuit. Pag meron tayong switch na in-on or in-off. Okay? Then, pwede rin mag-start yung t natin other than value 0. Pwede ring t is equal to t naught. Okay? When t is equal to t naught, ito yung magiging definition natin. u of t minus t naught is equal to 0 when t is less than t and equal to 1 when t is greater than t. So, parang u of t natin is delayed by t second. So, kapag ginrap natin to, ito siya. Ito yung delayed time natin na t naught. So, dito magsisimula yung graph natin. So, when t is less than t naught, so papunta dito, yung value nung u of t minus t naught natin is 0 nga. And then, when t is greater than 0, yung value nung u of t natin, so dito yung mga range nung t ay equal dun sa 1. Okay? So, meron din tayong case kung saan yung t naman natin ay equal sa negative t naught. So, kapag ganun, yung definition natin ay u of t plus t naught is equal to 0 when t is less than t naught and equal to 1 when t is greater than 
negative t naught. So, ibig sabihin, nyo of t naman is advanced by t naught seconds. So, ito yung graph niya. So, ito yung t naught natin, advanced siya ng t naught seconds, kasi nauna siya sa zero. Tapos, when t is less than t naught, so, ito yung mga range ng t natin, zero siya. So, ito yung graph. And then, when t is greater than negative t naught, so, ito na yung range ng t natin, equal na siya sa 1. Okay? And then, pwede rin tayong mag-multiply ng constant doon sa unit step function. So, for example, in this case, minultiply natin yung u of t by 3. So, therefore, yung magiging amplitude natin sa u of t, unit step function, di ba, originally 1 lang siya, dahil minultiply natin ng 3, yung magiging amplitude niya ay 3. So, ganun pa rin when t is less than 0, 0 siya kasi 3 times 0 is 0 pa rin. Tapos when t is greater than 0, multiply nga natin yung original value ng unit step function na 1 sa 3. So, magiging parang 3 na siya. Okay, so ginagamit natin do kapag sa voltage, let's say yung voltage natin ay hindi 1 volt, let's say 10 volt, multiply lang natin yung unit step function sa 10 volt kasi DC naman, constant. Okay, so ito yung graph niya. So, therefore, when t is less than 0, so ito yung range ng t, 0 pa rin sa unit step function. Tapos, when t is greater than 0, ito na yung range ng value ng t, yung u of t natin ay amplitude niya na i3 kasi nakamultiply sa 3. Okay, so that's the concept of unit step function which is gagamitin natin kapag nagsasolve tayo ng circuit. So, now, let's consider an RC circuit with a specific DC source, let's say Vs. Okay, so meron tayong definition na the step response of a circuit is its behavior when the excitation is the step function DC source which may be a voltage or current source. So ito raw yung circuit natin and then let's say meron tayong switch and then at T is less than 0, naka-open pa yung switch. And then the point na ma-reach natin yung t is equal to 0, we suddenly close the switch. So, dahil kinlose natin yung switch, ito na yung magiging itsura ng circuit natin. Meron na tayong closed loop. So, meron na dadaloy na current. Okay, so, hanapin natin yung voltage response sa capacitor given this circuit. So, by the way, let's assume pala na yung initial voltage dito sa capacitor, let's say v naught at v is equal to 0, is itong v naught nga. So, we denote also na yung voltage dito sa capacitor ay itong V. Okay? So, we can assume that at V of 0, negative, meaning ito yung voltage dun sa capacitor before natin i-close yung switch, which is at T is less than 0. Equal, dapat dito sa V of 0, positive, meaning itong value nito ay yung Voltage doon sa kapasitor, the moment na kinlose na natin yung switch. Kasi yung voltage sa kapasitor ay hindi pwedeng magbago instantaneously. Base doon sa video ko about kapasitor. Kar karakteristik siya ng kapasitor, di ba? Then, equal dito sa v naught Kasi ito yung inassume natin na initial voltage doon sa kapasitor. Bago natin i-close yung switch. So, ngayon ay bumuo tayo ng equation base dito sa circuit. So, let's try to use nodal analysis. So, let's sum up current dito sa node na to. Ito yung node V, right? Yung voltage across sa capacitor. So, assume natin yung current dito sa resistor ay palayo. Tapos, yung current dito sa capacitor ay palayo din with respect to node V. So, we have summation of current is equal to 0 at node V. So, we have summation of current current leaving equal summation of current entering. So, doon muna tayo sa leaving. So, obviously, lahat naman sila ay leaving. Yung current dito sa resistor, tsaka yung current dito sa capacitor. So, we have yung current dito sa capacitor, let's say, IC. And then, plus, yung current dito sa resistor, higher potential V minus lower potential Vs divided by the resistance. So, we have V minus Vs over resistance na R. Equal, then dun sa entering, dahil wala nga, equal siya sa 0. Tapos, i-represent natin itong current sa capacitor in terms of yung CDV DT, right? So, IC is equal to CDV DT. Basta dun sa video ko about capacitor. So, therefore, we have CDV DT plus V minus VS over R is equal to 0. So, divide natin both sides by C 
para mawala ng numerical coefficient nito ang dv dt we have dv over dt plus v minus vs over rc is equal to 0. Tapos, i-transpose ko tong v minus vs over rc sa kabila magiging dv over dt equals parang negative v minus vs over rc. And then, this is a separable DE, right? So, pwede kong i-cross multiply itong DT dito. Tapos, itong V minus VS dito sa baba. So, parang DV over V minus VS equals negative DT over RC. Okay? So, pwede natin tong integrate natin both sides. So, we have integral ng dv over v minus vs is simply ln v minus vs and then equals integral ng and then itong negative integral ng dt over rc is parang itong rc constant lang naman so we have negative 1 over rc gilid lang then differentiate lang natin tong dt which is t and then meron tayong plus c okay tapos pwede nating masolve yung c base dun sa initial condition natin na when t is equal to 0, v of 0 natin is equal to v not, right? So, therefore, substitute natin yung value. We have ln of yung v natin is v not minus vs equals negative 1 over rc. Then, yung t is 0 plus c. So, therefore, cancel to. We have ln v not minus vs is equal to c. So, therefore, yung value natin ng c ay ito. Substitute natin dito sa equation. So, ln v minus vs is equal to negative 1 over rc t plus ln v not minus vs. Okay? Tapos, transpose ko tong transpose ko tong ln v not minus vs sa kabila magiging ln v minus vs minus ln v not minus vs is equal to negative 1 over rc t. Okay? Tapos, applying quotient rule for logarithm, since meron tayong same base E, para tayong ln, tapos naka minus, we have ln V minus Vs over V not minus Vs is equal to negative 1 over RCT. Okay? And then, pwede natin gawing exponent tong both sides of the equation of base E para makancel natin tong ln sa left side. So, magiging V minus Vs over V naught minus Vs is equal to E raised to negative T over RC. Okay, and then itong RC, base dun sa video ko about source-free RC circuit, siya yung nilalet natin na time constant, right? So, let RC be the time constant tau. So, therefore, we have V minus Vs over V naught minus Vs is equal to E raised to negative T over tau. And then, i-multiply ko both sides of the equation by v naught minus vs. We have, eto, cancel, magiging v minus vs is equal to, multiply dito yung v naught minus vs sa e raised to negative t over tau. And then, v is equal to vs transpose plus v naught minus vs times e raised to negative t over tau. So, Ito na yung magiging voltage response equation natin for the capacitor. V of T is equal to Vs plus quantity V naught minus Vs times E raised to negative T over tau. For T, this time is greater than 0 na. Kasi nakaklose na yung switch. So, collectively, yung pinaka-equation natin or response na sa capacitor ay V of T is equal to V naught when T is less than 0. Kasi yun yung inasyam nating value nung capacitor or yung voltage dun sa B kapag naka-open pa yung switch or yung T is less than 0. And then kapag T is greater than 0, ito nang nakuha nating equation, yung Vs plus V naught minus Vs times E raised to negative T over tau when T is greater than 0. Okay? So kapag ginrap natin, ito na yung step response of an RC circuit with initially charged capacitor. So, ito yung initial charge ng kapasitor. And then, kung mapapansin nyo, initially at V naught, when T is greater than 0, magcha-charge siya pataas 
exponentially hanggang ma-reach niya itong Vs. Okay? Same as kapag uncharged naman initially yung kapasitor, so therefore yung B nat natin is 0, ang magiging equation natin for the voltage response sa kapasitor is V nat will be 0 when T is less than 0 or kapag naka-open pa yung switch and then magiging etong V nat papalitan natin ng 0 sa so magiging parang Vs plus 0 minus Vs e raised to negative T over tau at T is greater than 0. Or simply, Vs minus Vs e raised to negative T over tau at T is greater than 0. Further simplifying, factor out ko tong Vs magiging 1 minus e raised to negative T over tau at T is greater than 0. So, ito yung magiging graph natin when we have an initially uncharged capacitor. So, ito yung voltage response niya. So, dahil uncharged nga siya, at T is less than 0, 0 yung voltage niya, and then at T is greater than 0, exponentially mag increase yung voltage sa capacitor until ma-reach niya itong Vs. And then, para naman doon sa current, so, di ba meron tayong current doon sa capacitor equal siya sa CDV dt. So, i-differentiate natin itong voltage response na nakuha natin na to, ang masasolve natin dyan is C over tau times Vs e raised to negative T over tau. At since yung RC natin ay equal sa tau, therefore we can substitute tau as RC. So, C over RC times Vs e raised to negative T over tau cancel si C, magiging, magiging Vs over R e raised to negative T over tau. This is at T is greater than 0. Okay, so, ito yung magiging step response naman ng current kapag uncharged yung capacitor initially. So, initially, ang value niya ay yung maximum Vs over R. And then, when T is greater than 0, unti-unti siyang magdi-decrease exponentially until it reach 0. Okay. So, we can thought of as the complete response as complete response is equal to the natural response plus force response. Or V is equal to V sub N plus V sub F. Itong V sub N, siya yung natural response. Tapos yung V sub F, siya yung force response. So, bakit ganito? Kasi diba we have the natural response base dun sa video ko about source free RC circuit equal siya dito, right? And then... Dito naman sa force response, yung na-derive natin na equation, this time kapag meron na tayong DC source. So, kaya tinawag natin force response kasi nag-supply tayo ng DC source na. So, ito yung nakuha natin, di ba? Yung Vs minus 1 e raised to negative T over tau. So, kapag in natin tong dalawang to, ang kalalabasan, pag sinimplify natin, ito. Which is yung nakuha nating equation kanina. Right? So, equivalent pala na i-assume natin na yung natural response plus first response ay equal dito sa complete response nung complete response nung RC circuit with a step function. Okay? Or, pwede rin namang complete response equals transient response plus steady state response. So, yung transient response siya yung temporary part, yung steady state response siya yung permanent part. Or, V is equal to V sub T plus V sub SS. Yung V sub T siya yung transient response, tas yung V sub S siya yung steady state response. So, so bakit transient response saka steady state response? So, itong V sub T kasi yung transient response equal siya dito sa formula na to, yung V naught minus V S times E raised to negative T over tau. Ibig sabihin, ito yung transient response nung kapasitor, exponentially muna siyang mag increase gaya nung sa waveform niya kanina, until it reached the steady state response wherein magiging straight na siyang DC. Okay, i-approach nga na yung Vs, yung DC source natin. So, therefore, yung V ay itong nakuha nating expression. So, Vs plus V naught minus Vs times e raised to negative T over tau as T is greater than 0. Okay, so definition lang yung Transient response kasi is the circuit's temporary response that will die out with time. So, ito nga yun. 
yung transient response niya. Exponentially mo na siyang mag increase until it reaches the steady state response. Which is the behavior of the circuit a long time after an external excitation is applied. So, magiging steady state response na yung voltage doon sa capacitor after a long time which is dapat equal na lang doon sa DC source kasi mag-open na siya after a long time. Base doon sa video ko about capacitor, right? Kasi yung capacitor acts as an open circuit sa DC. Okay? So, pwede rin nating maging summary as pwede nating maging summary sa voltage response sa capacitor itong V of T is equal to V of infinity plus quantity V of 0 minus V of infinity times E raised to negative T over tau. Where yung V of 0 is the initial voltage at T is equal to 0 positive and V of infinity is the final or steady state value. So, ito yung pwede natin gawing laging formula kapag nag analyze tayo ng step response of RC circuit. So, therefore, to find the step response of an RC circuit requires three things. The initial capacitor voltage V of 0, the capacitor voltage V of infinity, and the time constant T. So, ito yung gagamitin natin shortcut para mag-analyze ng step response of RC circuit. So, lagi muna nga hanapin natin itong V of 0, tapos itong V of infinity, or at T is greater than 0, and then itong time constant tau. And then after nating mahanap yon, apply natin tong formula, substitute natin yung mga values na nakuha natin dito. Okay? Note that if the switch changes position at time t is equal to t naught instead of t is equal to 0, there is a time delay in the response so that the equation becomes v of t is equal to v of infinity plus quantity v of t naught minus v of infinity times e raised to negative t minus t naught over tau where, where v of t naught is the initial value at t is equal to t naught positive. So parang ito yung science step function. Kapag mayroon tayong delay, nagset yung time natin at t naught, ito yung magiging equation natin. So substitute lang natin yung value na t naught doon sa initial value natin na v, v of t naught at t equals to t naught din dapat. Okay, so meron lang tayong delay na t naught. Also, keep in mind that this equation applies only to step response that is when the input source is DC or constant. So, dapat step response lang applicable tong equation natin or yung mga DC or constant na voltage. Okay? So, para ma-illustrate natin yung formula for the step response of RC circuit, ay mag-solve tayo ng example. So, sabi, the switch in figure below has been in position A for a long time, at t is equal to 0, the switch moves to b, determine b of t for t is greater than 0, and calculate its value at t equals 1 second, and t equals 4 seconds. Okay, so, ito raw yung circuit natin, and then, pinapahanap yung voltage response, or v of t, dito sa capacitor, at t is greater than 0. Para mahanap natin yung voltage response sa capacitor, which is yung V of T, gagamitin natin yung shortcut formula natin kanina, which is equal sa V of infinity plus quantity V of 0 minus V of infinity times E raised to negative T over tau. Okay, so therefore, para mahanap natin itong V of T, kailangan natin ma-identify itong V of infinity, itong V of 0, tsaka itong tau or yung time constant. So, i-analyze ia natin yung circuit. So, lagi, mag-start muna tayo sa paghahanap ng V of 0. Itong V of 0 or yung initial charge or voltage doon sa capacitor V ay mahanap natin kapag nakuha natin yung initial voltage doon sa capacitor at T is less than 0. Kasi, kapag nakuha natin tong voltage doon sa capacitor at T is less than 0, right after na yung T ay naging 0, equal pa rin dapat yung voltage ng capacitor at equal to 0 dito sa voltage niya at is less than 0. Kasi the voltage of the capacitor cannot change instantaneously. So para mahanap natin tong V of 0, hanapin muna natin yung V of 0 negative. Okay? And then pag nakuha natin to, i-equate na lang natin siya V of 0 positive or equal nga dito sa V of 0. 
Kung hahanapin muna natin tong V of 0 at negative, therefore, i-consider natin yung position ng switch at switch A. Kasi at position ng switch na switch A, time pa natin is less than 0. So, copy ko ulit muna itong circuit. Okay? And then, analyze natin. So, when the switch is at position A, parang nakadetach itong component na to, yung 4 kilo ohm tsaka 30 volt dito sa remaining circuit. So, pwede nating alisin. Okay? So, para mahanap natin yung V of 0, negative, or yung voltage dito sa kapasitor, di ba? Napansin nyo na sa circuit na to ay merong nakakonect na 24 volt DC source. At alam natin na kapag nakakonect yung kapasitor, let's say for a long period of time sa isang DC source, mag na siya as open. Base dun sa video ko about kapasitor. So parang pwede natin tong i-delete. Kasi open na siya, ba? Pero yung voltage sa kapasitor ay magiging equal na dito sa voltage dito sa 5 kilo ohm resistor kasi parallel sila. So, para masolve natin yung voltage dito sa 5 kilo ohm resistor which is equal din dito sa voltage ng kapasitor, ano gagamitin natin? Pwedeng voltage divider. So, therefore, we have B of 0 negative is equal to itong ang voltage dito sa 5 kilo ohm resistor. So, we have 5 kilo ohm over 3 kilo ohm plus 5 kilo ohm times yung 24 volt. So, therefore, we have V of 0 as 15 volt. Okay, so, eto ngayon yung initial voltage ng kapasitor during T is less than 0. Which is, dapat, equal din sa V of 0 positive. Or yung V of 0 nga. Kasi, the voltage in kapasitor cannot change instantaneously. So now, consider na natin at time is equal to 0. So, at time is equal to 0, sabi, yung switch daw ay nag-move na sa position B. So, parang ito na lang yung magiging circuit natin. Okay? So, dinlet ko na yung right side ng circuit kasi madidisconnect na siya doon sa circuit na yon. Okay? So, parang ito na yung circuit natin. So, ngayon, meron tayong capacitor resistor tsaka 30 volt source. So, hanapin muna natin next yung tau. So, di ba yung tau is yung RC? So, ano yung involved na resistance sa kapasitor dito? Itong 4 kilo ohm tsaka itong 0.5 millifarad na kapasitor. So, therefore, RC is 4 times 10 raised to the third power times 0.5 times 10 raised to negative 3. So, therefore, our tau is equal to 2 second. Okay, so meron na tayong tau na 2 second. Ano pa yung kulang natin? Yung V of infinity. So, sa V of infinity, or makukuha natin to during the T is greater than 0 na, which is itong ang circuit yung titignan natin, mapapansin nyo, ano yung magiging voltage dito sa kapasitor considering this circuit. So, since meron ulit tayong DC source na nakakonect dito sa 0.5 mF kapasitor, automatic for a long period of time, kasi nga V of infinity na tayo, magiging open ulit siya. Okay? So, therefore, magiging equal automatic yung voltage niya dito sa 30 volt source. Okay? So, therefore, yung magiging V of infinity natin is equal to 30 volt. So, since meron na tayong tatlo, yung V of infinity, tau, tsaka yung V of zero, pwede nating ma-substitute dun sa formula. So, yung formula natin is V of infinity ule plus quantity V of zero minus V of infinity times e raised to negative t over tau. So, substitute natin, yung V of infinity is 30 volt plus V of zero is itong 15 volts. So, we have 15 minus B of infinity ule is 30. And then, e raised to negative t over tau natin na 2. Okay? So, therefore, this is the voltage response of the capacitor. Tapos, may pinapahanap daw at T is equal to 1 second and T equals to 4 second. Find the value of the voltage dun sa kapasitor. So, substitute lang natin yung T na 1 second tsaka T na 4 second. So, dun muna tayo sa B of 1. Magiging 30 plus 15 minus 30 e raised to negative 1 over 2. So, using calculator, masasolve natin to as what? 20.9 volts. Okay? And then, dun naman sa B of 4. We have 30 plus... 15 minus 30 
i raise to negative 4 over 2. Substitute lang natin yung 4 dito sa t na formula. So, therefore, we have using calculator, it is equal to 27.97 volt. Okay? Next, we have in figure below, the switch has been closed for a long time and is opened at t is equal to 0. Find i and v for all time. Okay, so, ito raw yung circuit natin. So, sabi, naka-close daw itong switch for a long time. Tapos, at t is equal to 0, in-open siya. So, hanapin daw natin tong i tsaka v for all time. So, hanapin natin yung i tsaka v at t is less than 0 and at t is greater than 0. Bale. So, meron tayong involved dito pala na 30 times a unit step function. So, ibig sabihin nito, equal itong voltage na to sa 30 U of T which is equal sa 0 at T is less than 0 and 30 at T is greater than 0 base doon sa definition natin ng unit step function base doon sa illustration ko rin sa simula ng video na to. Yung amplitude niya ay 30 imbis na 1 kasi nakamultiply siya sa 30. So therefore at T is less than 0 hindi siya operative. So parang short yung voltage natin dito. Pero at t is greater than 0, operative na siya. Meron na tayong 30 volt source. Okay, so dun muna tayo sa at t is less than 0. Hanapin natin itong v tsaka itong i. So at t is less than 0, it is the same as finding the initial voltage doon sa kapasitor negative. Okay? So para mahanap natin yon, eh, i-consider natin yung itsura ng magiging circuit. Okay? So, since daw at t is less than 0, naka-close yung switch. So, parang ganito yung itsura niyan. And then, at t is less than 0. At itong 30 unit step volt source natin ay hindi magpa-function kasi 0 siya, di ba? So, therefore, parang short lang to. Okay? So, parang ito na yung circuit natin. Kaso, for a long period of time daw na naka Close itong switch, mapapansin nyo dahil meron tayong DC source na 10 volt. Itong capacitor natin ay mag act na siya as open. Kasi capacitor act as open sa DC. So parang pwede natin i-open na tong capacitor. Okay, and then yung voltage drop across sa kanya ay itong voltage na lang dito sa 20 ohm resistor. Or equivalently, Dahil nakakonek itong 20 ohm resistor across dito sa 10 volt at simpularity naman tayo, equal agad itong V of 0 negative sa 10 volt. Okay? And then, hanapin naman natin itong current. So, ano yung magiging value natin for current ay at is less than 0. So, ba current is equal to V over R ohm's law. So, parang parallel itong 10 ohm sa 20 ohm, right? So, therefore, parawalin sila ng voltage na 10 volt. So, therefore, we have 10 over yung resistance niya na 10. Kaso, using passive sign convention, parang ang polarity natin, ang polarity nitong resistor ay, with respect ito sa 10 volt, dapat plus minus. Kaso, pumasok yung current dito sa negative. So, negative yung sign ng current natin. So, therefore, we have negative 10 over 10 or negative 1 amp. Okay, so next, so meron na tayong V at T is less than 0 which is 10 volt at current I at T is less than 0 which is negative 1 up. So punta na tayo for time T is greater than 0. So sabi, at T is equal to 0, yung switch daw natin, inopen natin. Okay, so parang ang magiging itsura niyan ay, redraw ko ulit ah. So therefore, at T at t is equal to 0 or equivalently at t is greater than 0 itong switch natin ay open na so itong 10 volt source ay parang mawawala na siya so delete ko na to tapos itong 30 unit step volt source natin dahil t is greater than 0 operative na siya so magkakaroon tayo ng equivalently na 30 volt dito so meron tayong 30 volt na dito so, ito na yung magiging equivalent circuit natin at T is greater than 0. So, ito yung ia-analyze natin. So, so di ba dito sa kapasitor, nahanap na natin yung V of 0 negative. 
dapat equal din to sa V of 0 positive or yung V of 0. Para sa formula natin na B of T is equal to P of infinity plus quantity B of 0 minus B of infinity times 0 is to negative T over tau. So, ang next natin hahanapin ay itong tau or yung time constant. So, para mahanap natin yung tau or yung time constant, hanapin natin yung RC dito sa circuit. Yung R parang yung RTH. So, para mahanap natin yung level in resistance dito sa terminal na to, isa-short natin tong 30 volt source. So, parang ano na yan? 10 ohm, 20 ohm, sa CRTH. So, 10 ohm tapos 20 ohm. Parang parallel lang sila, ba? Parallel yung 10 ohm tsaka 20 ohm. So, therefore, we have RTH is, formula ng parallel is, product times 20 over sum. So, we have 10 times 20 over 10 plus 20 or which is equal na to sa 20 over 3 ohms. And then, yung tau natin na RC, multiply natin tong R na nakuha natin sa kapasitans na, ano ba yung kapasitans natin? 1 fourth. So, therefore, we have 20 over 3 times 1 fourth is 5 over 3 seconds. So, meron na tayong tau, tsaka B of 0, ang kulang na lang sa formula itong B of infinity. So, mapapansin nyo, Meron uli tayong 30 volt DC source at meron tayong capacitor sa circuit. Therefore, for a long period of time, at V of infinity, itong capacitor natin ay magiging open uli. So, parang yung voltage sa kanya ay equal na dito sa 20 ohm resistor. So, para masolve natin yung voltage dito sa 20 ohm resistor, which is equal dun sa V of infinity, formula nyan is voltage divider lang, right? So, we have 20 over 20 plus 10 times yung 30 volt source. So, we have V of infinity as 20 volts. So, dahil meron na tayong V of infinity na 20 volt, tau or yung time constant natin na 5 over 3 second, as well as yung V of 0 natin, which is equal dito sa nakuha natin kaninang V of 0 negative na 10 volt, pwede na natin silang i-substitute dito sa formula natin na to. So, therefore, we have V of T is equal to V of infinity is itong 20 volt plus quantity V of 0 is, is yung kaninang nakuha natin na V of 0 negative na 10 volt minus itong V of infinity ulit na 20 sa so minus 20 e raised to negative T over yung tau natin na 5 over 3. So, simplifying further, we have 20 plus 10 minus 20 is negative 10 e raised to negative t, etong 5 over 3, parang magiging reciprocal, so parang times 3 over 5. So, magiging ano yan, 20 minus 10 na, e raised to, etong 3 fifths, gawin nating decimal negative 0 0.6 t. So, therefore, this is the voltage response V of t, 40 is greater than 0. And then, hanapin naman natin yung I of t, 40 is greater than 0. So, paano natin masasolve? So, looking dito sa circuit, itong I natin, magiging equal siya saan? So, pag nag-sum up tayo ng current dito sa node na to, let's say node A, summation of current equal 0 at, at node A, equal yung current I, siya yung entering dun sa dalawang living na to. Yung current dito sa 20 ohm resistor, tapos yung current dito sa capacitor. Okay? So, therefore, we have I is equal to, ano ba yung current dito sa 20 ohm resistor? Same voltage siya dito sa V, right? So, therefore, V over yung resistance niya na 20. And then, plus, yung current dito sa capacitor is IC, CDV DT, right? So, therefore, CDV DT. So, ito yung formula natin for current I. So, dito ko na lang itutuloy. So, di ba yung I natin is V over... 20 plus C D V D T. So substitute natin. Di ba nakuha na natin yung V? Ano yun? Ito, di ba? So we have 20 minus 10 e raised to negative 0 0.60 over yung resistance na 20. Plus C, ano yung C natin? 1 fourth. Times derivative nitong V. So differentiate natin to. We have derivative ng 20 is 0 minus derivative nitong 10 e raised to negative 0 0.60. So parang copy si 10, and then copy itong e raised to negative 0 
Then derivative nitong e raised to negative 0 0.60. So e raised to negative 0 0.60. And then derivative natin tong exponent chain rule we have negative 0 0.6. Okay? So therefore we have simplify natin, distribute natin to magiging 20 divided by 20 is 1. Ito negative 10 e raised to negative 0 0.60 divided by 20 is parang 0 0.5 e raised to negative 0 0.60. And then ito magiging plus itong 1 fourth distribute natin. So itong 0 parang wala na. Parang 1 fourth times dito na lang. So we have 1 fourth times negative 10 times negative 0 0.6. Ilan yun? Positive 1.5. E raised to negative 0 0.60. And then combine similar terms. We have negative 0 0.5. E raised to negative 0 0.60. Plus 1.5 times e raised to negative 0 0.60. Ilan na lang yun. So, we have 1, 1, plus 1 na lang. 1 na e raised to negative 0 0.60. Okay. So, therefore, ito yung expression natin for i of t at t is greater than 0. Okay. So, isummarize natin. Yung v of t natin is equal to, di ba sa t is less than 0, equal siya sa 10 volt. Tapos yung V of T natin at T is greater than 0, itong nakuha nating expression. Yung 20 minus 10 e raised to negative 0 0.60. And then sa I naman, equal siya sa at T is less than 0, equal siya saan? Kanina, negative 1 amp. So, equal siya sa negative 1. And then at T is greater than 0, itong nakuha natin. Yung 1 plus e raised to negative 0 0.60. Okay, so therefore, this is our final answer. Okay? Okay, so I think that's it for this video. So, sa pag-analyze ng step response ng RC circuit, tandaan nyo lang yung formula na B of T is equal to B of infinity plus quantity B of 0 minus B of infinity multiplied by e raised to negative T over tau. So, lagi, first step, hanapin itong V of 0, and then itong tau, and then itong V of infinity. So, pag nahanap nyo, affix nyo lahat ng value dito sa formula na to. Okay? So, practice lang kayong mag-solve at magiging madali lang to sa inyo kapag nag-solve kayo ng maraming problems. Okay? So, that's it for this video. So, sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panonood.